Uh, today we're going to be unboxing a very special piece of gear. Um, but before I get to that, let me just tell you a little bit about uh, the way that this unboxing and, and these types of videos are going to occur. Uh, first of all, I am uh, a person who is an educator and a technologist. So I guess you can say I'm in ed tech. And one of the things I wanted to do was spend a little bit of time uh, going through a couple of things so I can help my fellow educators and ed tech uh, people uh, make decisions on what types of equipment they want to buy. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing a HP Spectre uh, X360 13 inch and this is the one that has the actual uh, pen involved, uh, pen included I should say. So it, it's supposed to be the same pen technology, uh, the Intrigue technology that's uh, inside of a Surface. And uh, if you're like me, you probably were real excited when Surface first came out and um, um, and each generation seemed to get big, uh, better and better. This is a Surface Pro 3, and I've had this for a couple of years now, and this is probably one of the pieces of technology that I've managed to hold on to only because of the, the pen and the interaction between the two devices. Um, and if you're also like me, you probably have another device at your disposal for uh, doing your video such as your final cut and so you probably have a, a, a Mac Pro Retina and things of that nature and of course since we know many of the uh, softwares and, and technologies that we're using today are Windows driven you probably also have another device um, some, some Windows laptop or something like that this is the first generation or not the first generation but the prior generation uh, HP X360 Spectre 13 inch uh, this one had the a Skylake processor a 16 gig of RAM and a terabyte hard drive so uh, you know I never thought that I would be looking past this machine the only thing that really got to me for this machine was the fact that the pen that, that came with it uh, uh, the pen that was for it I should say the HP pen wasn't really a great pen so I wound up getting the Dell and even with the Dell pen, uh, it uses the, the, a, a different type of technology. I believe it's um, uh, Synaptics, just, just such as the touchpad. But um, it's just not as precise as the surface line of, of active stylus pens go. So that being said, I, I wind up, you know, whenever I'm going to do a presentation or teach a course or, you know, whenever I have technology involved in a presentation, I wind up taking this device, uh, I wound up taking this device um, just for the precision of the input. And uh, if you're like me and you're old school, uh, you might even be taking this device, which I call the original uh, Surface. Because, you know, you can still make your little boxes and, and, you know, you can do that and you can, of course, shake it. So some of you guys out there may not have ever seen these. Uh, in, in its native habitat, but I can tell you as a technologist, uh, this is something that's it's definitely a part of, of uh, my collection here. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. All right, so that being said, and I'll also give you a chance <clears throat> to see the size difference between uh, the X360, the new version, and the uh, the Surface uh, compared to the MacBook, compared to the old X360, and, and that sort of thing. So, with that being said, all right. There. Okay. All right. Okay, so of course, there's always the box within a box. So, let's do that. We'll pull that out. Let's turn it upside down this way. Oh no, it's the right side, okay. And we'll sit this down. This isn't necessary. Okay. Oh look, it's got a nice little handy dandy case that comes along with it. Um, it's not real leather, it's the full leather, but it's a it's a it's a good full leather. Uh, looks like quality. Okay, so uh, here we are, the box within the box, and let's see what we got. Uh, this actually uh, came from Best Buy. Uh, retails for about $13.49. Um, and the loadout is um, uh, 
KB Lake i7 processor, the 512 SSD, uh, full HD, and it's supposed to have a pen inside. So uh, when I was talking to the guy at Best Buy, uh, he pulled the wrong one first, and we both uh, paused to make sure that this one had the pen. And uh, well, it doesn't say it has a pen on the box, but the skew was the same skew. So uh, you and I are both gonna find out right now whether or not this is uh, truly the, uh, the one it's supposed to have. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't noticed, this is, this is my first unboxing uh, that I've actually done on film. <laughs> I've done plenty of unboxings, but never actually filming it. And I've become fascinated by how many times an unboxing helps people. So that's why I'm doing this one here. All right, so we got the box open. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, uh, let's see, what do we have here? All right, so we have the actual uh, laptop itself. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, uh, we've got the quick guide to get started. Um, uh, yeah, all the telephone numbers, which we heard sometimes that they're not the most responsive, but at least you have a number to call. All right, now let's see what's in here, whether or not we've got, ah, oh, yes, I can see it already. Uh, we've got, the power dongle, which looks a lot like the Apple, Apple dongle, uh, and it's got the pen. It's got the pen. Wow, look at that. It's got the pen. So, um, what I'll do is open these pieces up really quickly. I don't have the most patience when it comes to opening up devices. I like to get right to it, and you're probably the same way. So, let's get that going. Okay. Okay, so that's, if you think about it, that's similar to the actual uh, MacBook, um, the, the power brick. So that's interesting that it would have the same type of uh, connection as the power brick. So, yeah, that, that's very interesting. Okay. All right, put that over there, put this over here. All right, so, and that's, that's it. That's all the contents of the box. It's totally empty. It's not a bad presentation if I do say so myself. I'll put these back over here, give them a place to live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to keep all these things together just in case things don't go right. And, uh, we get an equipment malfunction or something like that, that all of the things that came out of the box go right back in the box and then they go right back to Best Buy. That's the one good thing I'd say about Best Buy is that if there is something wrong with the technology that you've just purchased, uh, generally there's no issue with returning it. And uh, um, I just want to give a shout out to Best Buy for that. Not all uh, retailers are as, as, as flexible as they are and for that I applaud them. Okay. That being said, I'll go ahead and pull this out. Let's see what we got. All right. Oh, this is really nice. Really nice. Okay. So here we are. That's it. That is your HP Spectre. So now I'm going to turn it toward you so you can see it. Okay. And I'll go ahead and open it. Uh, you no, know, you can't open it with one hand. You have to have two. Okay. And, of course, you got your little felt. Keep the keys from rubbing up against the actual uh, display. And here we are. Oh my gosh, it is so light. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, you know what I noticed? Now, now this is all silver edition. The, uh, H the uh, full HD, uh, 1920 by 1080. But it's silver HP out here. And on the inside, let me open this up. Okay, on the inside, it's got a bronze HP there. So I, th I think that's interesting. Of course, you've got the, uh, the speaker grill. Let me pull this back. The speaker grill here. So you've got uh, two speakers on the top. And what you've got, let's turn this over, close this up a little bit. 
Uh, you had two speakers on the bottom, so depending on the configuration you want to use for your presentation or your course that you're teaching or leading, uh, you've got sound coming out uh, in various places that makes sense. Uh, and of course, you've probably seen these from prior unboxings, uh, the port selection. Uh, you've got your USB 3, you've got your headphone jack, your power, your uh, ventilation, your fan. On this side, you have two USB-Cs, uh, both the Thunderbolt, and uh, one, it looks like, is the one for your charging. So, uh, and of course, your power, excuse me, your volume rocker. So, and I gotta tell you, this is really, really light. I mean, wow. Now, let's see in terms of size uh, how it stacks up to the other devices that we just talked about. So, um, right now, the, the, I said that the closest device in terms of pen input and everything else that we have uh, is the Surface. So let's start with that, with the Surface. So in terms of the Surface, and this is the Surface Pro 3, uh, 12 inch screen, this is the size difference. So let's see if you can see that. All right, so if I put them side, you know, edging it out all the way, the Surface Pro 3 is about uh, maybe three quarters of an inch smaller on one side and three quarters of an inch smaller at the top. You can see that? Uh, that looks good, that looks good. Now, in terms of weight, uh, this, the Surface Pro 3 weighs 1.76 pounds and the keyboard itself weighs an additional 0.6 pounds, I believe. So altogether, you know, we're looking at about 2.44 pounds, 2.45. Similarly, the HP weighs about 2.8 pounds, so for about uh, 0.4 pounds more, you get a, a, a machine that has an actual a larger, uh, a larger screen, 13.3 uh, inch, and of course it's got the Microsoft uh, Hello to log in and a couple other goodies. And of course you're future-proofing yourself, and that's the main thing. You can future-proof and you're still uh, have ability to to use your legacy products. So, uh, so that's a good thing. Now let's see it next to the I'll move this out the way. Let's see it next to the MacBook Pro 13. Now this is a 2015 version with the uh, Force Touch, and I'll open this up so you can take a quick look. But that's it. Okay, and I've got the uh, plastic coating on here, the the the, uh, the skin so it doesn't get scratched or anything. All right, so let's put these two next to one another and see how they stack up size-wise. Okay. Whoa, look at that. That is almost the same size. Wait, 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 let me, let me move this over all the way. Okay. Okay, so it turns out, well done, HP. The MacBook is actually a skosh bigger. Uh, maybe an eighth of an inch, but only on one side. Uh, from the, the depth, is the exact, to me, it appears to be the, the exact same depth, but in terms of actual slop left over, uh, as you can see, the MacBook Pro 13 inch Retina is just a bit bigger. Now, of course, you've got ports, you've got SD card input, you've got a bunch of things, but uh, I gotta tell you, HP really picked up their game here. And the irony is that the MacBook is actually a lot heavier than the HP. Uh, the MacBook comes in at about 3.4 pounds, and you can feel it. Uh, you can feel the difference. I mean, there's, there's no denying it. Great laptop and great display, but, um, you know, it's not touch. Um, and the good thing is that the keys are great. You know, the, the keys really feel great. The force touch is great. So, you know, these things, uh, uh, Apple really did a great job here. I purchased the 2016 MacBook Pro, and after trying the keys out for about four or five days, I realized I, I, it wasn't gonna work for me. Uh, I'm a writer, I like to write, and uh, that keyboard just wasn't cutting it. Conversely, the HP, I kept trying it out at, the, um, at Best Buy, and I have to tell you, um, the keys just always felt good to me. I mean, I, I, wow, I mean, they really feel good. Now, let's size this up next to the actual 
um, Spectre, the last generation Spectre, and let's check out the size difference. So we've got that here, and this incidentally is my daily driver. Uh, I'm, I'm always on this one. Uh, when someone says, hey, can you, can you create something for me, or can you uh, uh, help me visualize something, uh, this is the one that I use. This is, this is, believe it or not, of all of the devices that I have in the house, not the Mac, not the Surface, it's this one. This is the one that I really get work done on and am highly productive. So let's see. All right, so we'll put the original down, which was a great machine in its own right. And here's the updated machine. And let's see how much larger we we're talking about. Wow, that is quite a difference. Now from, from front, the depth is exactly the same. Uh, there's no doubt about that, exactly the same. It's, it's thinner, of course, but in terms of uh, depth from, from touchpad to, to speaker grill, uh, they are the exact same size machine, but look how much slop is left over. This is probably three quarters of an inch to almost an inch from here to here, and that's the extra. And then you look at it here, uh, it's really something. And you look at the barrel, uh, they've really, really amped up their game. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the workmanship here. Now, in terms of weight, 2.8 pounds versus about 3.2. So it's, it's closer. It's still heavier. There's no doubt about it. But I'll tell you, it makes a big difference having that bezel-less display. Because when you look at these two things, and yes, um, you probably notice I have little blue stickies. Uh, that's just to cover up the webcam, no, no big deal, and I was uh, too lazy to buy a nice little black piece that goes over that, but there we are. And in terms of height, uh, they look to be the exact same height. Look at that. Wow. Uh, the, the trackpad is noticeably smaller uh, on the new model, which makes sense because you don't have as much real estate for your wrist pad. But I will say that, you know, when you... Bounce across these keys. These keys have always been good feeling keys, but believe it or not, the, the pitch here is about 1.3, pitch here is about 1.5, but there's something about the way they did these keys that makes this actual feedback to your fingers actually feels better than, than the old one, and I, I can't believe that. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely have a, a ball uh, developing content with, uh, with this machine. All right, so. Uh, here we are with those two pieces, and you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and kind of give us all a, as you can see, silver is, is the color of the day here, and uh, <laughs> just to give you an idea of, of how these things actually work, let me move this out the way. You know, and just an assortment to give you an idea of, of how these things, in terms of rel relative size and shape and workmanship and evolution of a product. Now, what's interesting, now, well, let's, let's not forget this pen. Uh, so let's open up this pen. I have some scissors here. Okay, slide the pen out. And here's our pen. Oh, great. And oh, okay, the batteries are in here. I was wondering why I felt so light. Okay, but let's look at this sized next to the Surface Pen. And if you look at the nibs, the nibs are exactly the same. Now, this is the Surface Pro 3 pen. This is the pen that came with the Surface Pro 3. But um, when I look at them side by side, I can honestly say that uh, there's definitely uh, a lot of the same. Now, I do have a, a, the Surface Pro 4 pen, uh, and I'm going to probably use that more with this device here. Uh, speaking of which, I'll power this up while I continue to talk about the differences. Okay. Um, so that's, that's what we have here. I'm, I'm really, really impressed. So if, if you're into ed tech, let me go ahead and wrap this up. So if you're in education technology and you are a, either a teacher or a professor or an aficionado or you're just curious about you know, devices, uh, keep looking me up. What I'll do is I'll, uh, when I come across technologies that can be used to enhance 
the learning uh, condition for our students and um, the learning processes for our faculty and staff, uh, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to share that with you. And my hope is that uh, if you come across some great shortcuts, that you'll do the same and, and share them with me and, and the rest of our fellow uh, education technology community. Uh, that about does it for today. I just want to say thank you for tuning in and uh, let's be on the lookout for more videos to come. Thank you all and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.